testing tool and uh, it opens into a new UI and there is no test suites or test cases in this. So we'll click new test suite and uh, we'll give it as a sample 01 and uh, you can select a folder in which the test cases would be loaded. So I would just create a folder, new folder project 01 and we'll give it the name as convert tool as that's the tool we are going to test and it's a windows tool and I'm choosing Python as my base language. Click next and select the tool. If not, browse for the tool and click finish. So as you see, we have a suit convert tool as a test suit and a new script test case and test 01 underscore 01 is the name. And once we create a test case, a class of main is defined in Python and uh, you have to click record button uh, to make it more automated. Click the record button and we would see the convert app being opened. And this is the app that is linked to our Squish. So whatever you do in the app is being recorded by the Squish and you can replay it automatically. Now I'll stop recording. I didn't do anything other than moving uh, the window, I mean application. So as you see here, whatever we did is we started the application and mouse drag, we dragged this object from this point to this point. So this works on X and Y coordinates and uh, we'll erase this test case and we'll start a sample test case. Click record and yeah. Now we wanted to uh, do some conversion between the units. We go between temperature and Celsius, remove one, we are giving, you can click backspace three or four times just to clear it and we are giving 38 degrees Celsius and we chose Fahrenheit and we get the answer it's 100 Fahrenheit and now we are going for uh, distance conversion click distance and in distance I've given six times backspace to erase the input and given 350 centimeters which is 3.5 meters and we will click options and we can invert selected units. 350 meters is 35,000 centimeters. And we are closing the window and we will stop the recording. So as we see our steps here, we started the application. Application started and mouse click, we uh, clicked on the temperature tab and then we have given, uh, we clicked on the input tab, which is at this location. We used mouse dot primary button to click on this location. And in the input, we have given backspace. Again, we have given backspace. Again, we have given backspace. So after three times of backspace, we have given input as 38. After that, we have clicked on the object labeled Fahrenheit. And then we have done a mouse click on the distance tab item. So we selected Fahrenheit in the list. We select, uh, we clicked on the distance. It is a tab item. And then another mouse click is at this location, which is in our input. So we clicked and we clicked six or seven backspaces. And then we have given input as 350. After that, we have used mouse click and we clicked on options and we have used mouse click and we have clicked the invert selected unit. And we have used mouse click and this time at this particular coordinates we have clicked the mouse button this is to exit this is for exiting now if you see every mouse click either it records a button or it records a coordinate sometimes if there's a precise button you click on it records the button if there's no button or the button is not defined properly it records the coordinates of the existing window now the same steps let's save this and let's replay the application and see if the same steps are going to happen replay so this opened and uh, as you see the same steps are being repeated. We can also insert time pauses so that uh, we take our step slowly. We can insert print to get our log details and we have our test summary here. 
test summary, the total duration is six seconds and it is only one test case we run. We can also run another test case in uh, as a bulk in the suite. And we have a log for this that recorded everything, mouse clicks and uh, typings. And uh, yeah, test result. We have this test result. Yeah. Okay, then that's how we do a basic automation in a Windows application. And uh, thank you for watching.